In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy and sell painted and unpainted Fenix for profit. We're going to be hopping right into it. I'm going to be starting a brand new series where I show you guys how to buy and sell any item you want to know about. Today's episode is all about painted and unpainted Fenix, so I'm going to be showing you guys the current prices that are going along with them, what to buy these Fenix for and what to sell them for, the current scams that are going along with these Fenix, and other options to sell your Fenix other than credits. But if you guys are looking for more information about Rocket League trading, or just want to chill and play a couple games with me my twitch is linked in the description I'm gonna be streaming this week so stay tuned guys and hopefully I'll see you there and with all of that out of the way we're gonna be hopping right into the 13 Fenix and we're gonna be starting off with the titanium white Fennec it ranges from 2900 to 3100 there are two current scams going along the first one is gonna be switching it from titanium white to gray the second one is gonna be switching it from the titanium white cert Fennec to a regular cert Fennec I would suggest buying it for around 2850 under 50 credits of its minimum value and then selling it for the max price since titanium white is the most popular color it's very easy to sell for that max price and an option to sell your titanium white Fennec for is a good black market overpay moving on to number two it's going to be the crimson fennec which ranges from 900 to 1100 there's two current scams going along the first one is going to be switching the crimson fennec for burnt sienna and also switching the certified crimson fennec for regular certified fennec i would suggest buying it for around 750 to 800 credits and then selling it for that mid to max price crimson is still very popular in the community you're able to sell it for max price very quickly and i would also suggest trying to get a good black market decal overpay for this crimson fennec in the next spot we're going to be looking at sky blue fennec which ranges from 850 to 1050 since sky blue is kind of a mid-tier color it's a great way to gain a lot of profit so i try buying it for 750 and selling it for that minimum to mid price it might be a little difficult to get that mid price but it's well worth it in the end because you get a lot of profit off of it i would try selling your fennec for credits and if not you can always switch it for a painted octane equivalent sell that painted octane for that max price to get even more credit value for the number fourth spot we're going to be looking at pink fennec which ranges from 700 to 900 credits since it's not a popular color in the community we can actually get a fair bit of credit profit off this i would try buying it for 550 to 600 credits and trying to sell it for that minimum to mid value most likely get that minimum but you possibly could get that mid value it might just take you some time now i would also try to switch this for a good painted draco equivalent and then just sell that painted draco for the max price since it's a little difficult to sell your pink fennec next up on the list it's going to be saffron ranging from 700 to 900 credits so i would try buying it for 550 to 600 credits and then just selling it for that minimum value it's going to be quite difficult to do that but you will get some good credit profit you could always try to sell it for a black Black market decal or black market gold explosion overpay quite surprisingly the next one on the list is going to be purple i thought it'd be a lot higher but turns out it isn't ranges from 700 to 900 credits and since it's such a popular color in the community we're just going to be trying to push for that 550 to 600 credits and then once you get it i would try to sell it for that mid to max price since purple is quite popular for the fenix a lot of people are going to be wanting them so you could push it up to that 900 credit value now instead of credits you can always just try to switch this fennec for a good painted draco equivalent and just sell that draco for maybe mid to max price but you should be able to get that max price for the purple fennec fairly easily right after the purple fennec we're going to be moving on to the lime fennec which ranges from 650 to 850 now i try to buy this fennec for around 450 to that 550 credit value and then once you get it i would try to sell it for that mid to max price the reason why i'm trying to sell it for that max price is because of a popular youtuber called musty has a lime octane now it is quite common a lot of people are trying to make that same design on a fennec so people are trying to buy this lime fennec so you should be able to get that max price easily if not you can always try to switch it for that painted draco equivalent or a good black market decal and then next up we have gray fennec which ranges from 650 to 850 i would try to get this for around 350 and sell it from that mid to max price the only 
reason why I'm trying to sell it for so high is because of scamming. Unfortunately, a lot of people are going to be trying to buy gray fennex, trying to scam for their white, but you can actually take advantage of this, just selling it for that max price. You can also sell it for an equivalent painted Zomba, or just get a really good overpay in exotics. Now, quite surprisingly, Burnt Sienna is really high on this list, ranging from 600 to 800 credits. Since Burnt Sienna is the least popular color in Rocket League, we're just going to be offering 350 to 450. If you get it for that price, I just try to sell it for that minimum value. A lot of people are trying to sell it for that mid and possibly even max. So if you can just get it quickly out of your inventory for the minimum, that'd be perfect. Right behind Burnt Sienna Fennec is Cobalt, which is ranging from 550 to 750. I would try getting a good steal for around 400 to 450 credits and just try to sell it for that minimum to mid value. Since it's not a very popular color in the community, I would just try to get it out of your inventory as fast as possible just in case the item drops. Now I would try to get a good painted Zomba overpay and if not, you can always look for non-crate very rare or painted black market decal offers. Next up, I'm just going to be looking into the forest green Fennec for 500 to 600 credits. I'm not sure why it's this low, but for some reason it is. Since forest green is a very popular color, just be buying it for under 100, so 400 credits, and then trying to sell it for that mid to max value. Now I just try to switch this forest green fennec for a good black market. Sell that black market for even more credit value. And the last painted fennec is going to be orange, ranging from 500 to 600 credits. Since orange is the second least popular color, I would just offer around 300 to 350 credits. Once you get it for that price, just sell it for the minimum value. It's almost impossible to sell it for that max price. If you can get someone, by all means do it, but it will take you guys a long time. So just try to get rid of it quickly. You can almost switch this orange fennec for any black market, octane, or draco. Since orange is not very popular, I would just look for a different option. Next up, we're just going to be looking at the regular fennec. Now this regular fennec goes from 400 to 500 credits, and since it's actually quite popular for unpainted fennec, I would just look for around 300 to 350 credits, and sell for that mid to max price. Unpainted Fennecs are really high in demand right now. You can get a good credit offer or you could just get a really good Zomba overpay. And the most important part about this is trial and error. Not all of these prices are going to work, so you guys just got to find out what does and what doesn't. Best place to put these items is into Rocket League Garage and the Looking for Group page on Xbox. I'll have both of those linked in the description. By the way, gamers, if that was too much information for you, I'm going to be leaving all of the credit values and what to buy them for in the comments below. So make sure you guys check that out if you miss something. Be sure to subscribe and drop a like. You guys don't want to miss the second episode to this new series if you want to get your first 500 credits it's going to be on the right and if you guys want to see a new nothing to something series it's going to be on the left that's it for me peace